I will be setting up website here on other CMS which I just created for the purposes of this tutorial to demonstrate you how you can set up a WordPress website manually. We will be doing it manually so you understand the file system and where all files of your website go. As to my opinion this is very crucial to understand for absolutely new developers so you at least first time get to know where your files live how you can set up the website manually and you know what is database and where you can manage your databases so let's create our first website here on the left hand side make sure that you are in hosting you will have only one domain name which you have bought with your hosting so first thing scroll a little bit down and here you will see quick links and click into C panel here you will see the very first First field which is files and here is file manager just click into file manager and this will open a file manager and always whenever you are hosting a website your main website files are located in public underscore HTML folder as you can see here in the left hand side just click in there in my case you see that there are already WordPress files you should be working in this public underscore HTML folder so I will be working in second.bever.ie folder this is what you will see when you will go into public underscore .html. currently I have there one file I will delete it because that file shouldn't be there I created just for purposes of demonstration but in general you will see empty folder here and what you need to do now to create a WordPress website you have to open in Google browser and search for wordpress.org and in wordpress.org you can get full CMS system here in the right top corner you will see get WordPress just click on that button and here here you can download the latest version of WordPress as you see download WordPress 6.5 once you click it your download will start as you can see it is now downloading this into my computer into downloads directory and while it is downloading let's go back to cPanel and here we scroll down until we see databases now we will also need to set up a database and to set up a database here you will see this MySQL databases just click in there and there we will create a new database. I will create a database and I will call this database test. You can call this database as you want. Your database name will be this, this first part, underscore and whatever you will enter. Let's create database. And now let's go back. And now this database is created. Now scroll down and now we will need to add MySQL user. This will be user for your database. And remember all these things which you are creating. And your username will be also this prefix which is here underscore with test user or whatever name you will be adding there. And create a password for this user. And here also password for the user and create user here you click go back and now we will need to add this user to database and this is at the very last tab and we created this username which is this like I said at the very start this prefix underscore and test user yours this very first prefix will be different than mine guys because it is different for each hosting then underscore I have test user this is user which I just created and here is second tab which is database also with prefix and I need to select my test database which I just created and then click on add and we will need to give privileges for this user to use all options of this database so here at the very top you will see all privileges just check mark this and it will check all privileges and then click on make changes and once this is done and this is saved click here at the bottom go back and now we have created the database and we have created the user now let's go back to file manager which we opened earlier on and here let's click on upload and let's upload that file which we downloaded from wordpress.org here we click on select file and here is this wordpress which we just downloaded and we'll click open and once this is downloaded here at the very bottom click on go back and you will see this folder here just click on this folder right click on this folder and click here on extract here you will see where you are extracting this is the path where you are extracting this folder and here click on extract files and close this select this zip file because we can delete it right click and delete this folder because we will not need it and skip trash because we don't need to save it on our server let's click confirm and now you need to understand that all your files have to be here in this public underscore HTML directory currently there is only folder of WordPress so we need 
to go into this double click on this WordPress folder and go in and from the very bottom click and highlight all these files just by dragging up and then right click and click on move and here we need to del delete this last WordPress because we want to move it to second.bever.ie in your case that will be public underscore html and we click on move files and now if you will go to public html you will see all your files here in my case like i said this is second.bever.ie and these are files for your wordpress website but now we need to set up this wordpress website and to do this you need to go to your domain name whatever is your domain name if you go to your domain name in my external that is second.bever.ie in your scenario that will be your domain name and once your files will be installed you will see tab like this here you just select language and click continue here you see that you need to set up a database and this is telling that whether you have set up a database we just did we set up a database and username so we click on let's go and here what we are doing we are writing in database name as you remember in my scenario database was this prefix and text username was also this prefix underscore test user and here you enter the password you created for your database user here leave database host to local host and leave this prefix and click on submit and here you will see all right sparky you have made it through we have installed the database and connected our wordpress to database and here click on run the installation and here you can give any title to your website because you will be also able to change it later i will just give it test uh, title username whatever username you will want to log in to your website and here create some password make sure that you have a secure password i'm just creating this test website so this is only for the purpose of this tutorial that's why i'm using very simple one and here i'm if i'm using uh, weak password this will be confirm use of weak password so i'll confirm it and here click at the very bottom install wordpress so our username is test and our password was test123 and here we click on login and you will be redirected to this login field here you add your username and here you add your password and click on remember me and login and you are now logged in into your wordpress management system and if you would like to access your website then here in the right top corner hover over this test or click on that test there will be your username and you will be redirected to the website and you will be able to see how your website looks now for everyone else and this is your first website guys and if you want to go back to your dashboard you can click there and you can get back to the dashboard and you can manage your website so yes guys we have just created the new website by using wordpress and there are many youtube tutorials so as i'm creating many youtube tutorials how you can create a beautiful websites in wordpress but in general we just have created our first website hope that you found this video useful if you did leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one